Hey, what's up, everybody? Jumping here. Today, I'm going to be bringing you something very special. The Rebellion Pack just came out. Just got it. Really excited over it, especially with the new equipment and stuff. As you can see, I have 1.8 million credits. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy my packs and hope for the best. And then I will go ahead and, you know, tell you what I think about all the new characters. Look at the powers, so look what they do. First thing I'm going to do is promote my characters. This is what I recommend doing is trying to promote these guys just so that I can get some levels out of this as well. Um, pretty standard stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and buy the first premium. Ooh, it was instant buy too. All right, so I just got the new shotgun, Corian shotgun, or yeah, electrical shotgun, and the sniper rifle. That's cool. I also got, you know, I got to also keep a lookout for the... Um, you know for the thing or whatever the, oh yeah the new equipment let's go ahead and take a look at this the stats on this thing where is it okay it has really it looks like it has really low damage but and no accuracy what I'm imagining this thing's gonna do is that it's going to do some type of um wow this is weird it's probably gonna do some type of like really short range electrical attack so that's what I'm uh, imagining out of that That'd be really cool. Let's look at the sniper rifle damage. Uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, so it has decent damage. It has okay weight, too. It looks cool as well. It's going to have piercing on it already, so... Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, this thing, when you get it fully, when I get this to 10, it should be, uh, should be decent. I guess I'll just leave it on. Who cares? All right, let's keep going. You know, this is actually live commentary, just so, you know, I can just, I don't know. Why not? Why not just do it live? Okay, assault rifle rifle amp. All right, this is cool. So this is one of the new equipments, and I just got the same two guns. Hopefully, I can get the new characters. This is stupid. Okay, so I just got the guns again. Ah oh, man, I hope there's not some. They're not pulling some bull on me. Batarian soldier, garbage. Ah man, they might be pulling some bull on me. Where like you know, I can't get any new characters yet. Either way, I don't care. If I get the new guns pretty, you know, high, and the new equipment, that's cool, too, I guess. Like, I'm not going to really trip off that. Reset powers. There we go. Okay. Vorcha Soldier, Gaff Engineer. That's cool. Go ahead and take a look. Yeah, all right. Everything's still cool. All right. I'm really going to cross my finger for that Vanguard. That's what I really want to see. I do have to say, though, one thing I wanted to bring up. Is I really do I really do think it's gonna be kind of hard to get the new characters only because when you think about it now that there's three gold characters out there floating around the chances of getting them you know like instead of getting I just got the Corian infiltrator too that's cool but like a good example is like you know it, instead of getting the X Cerberus you might get the Asari Adapt or you might get the Asari Justicar there's a chance of getting them and that would be lame who would want that you know like <laughs> you know who would want that reset power. Just got these weapons up again. I need to check my characters every once in a while to see if they're level 20. Reset powers. Okay. I just want these to max out or whatever. Let's take a look. Okay, I got 18. I, you know, at the end of this, when I get done doing this, I will look through uh, the powers and tell you what I think. Shotgun real one. Okay. I mean, isn't there supposed to be an assault rifle in there? Why am I keep getting the same ones? This is dumb. Sniper real one. Gap infiltrator. <laughs> Yay. That's lame. Trail Vanguard. Well, at least I'm getting that sniper rifle maxed out. I'm going to love that. That gun looks cool. I'm definitely going to bring a video out with that right away. Ah, uh, come on, stop taking forever. F engineer, sorry, Dub, lame. You know, as you can tell, everybody has problems with, even myself, like, I'm not the luckiest person alive. This is 1.8 million. Surprise, no, oh, just got the talent for that's cool, I guess. Okay, what is this? Expert package, organize, increase the machine gun damage. I, I, I don't understand that. okay like I really don't get that like that's that's that I didn't really I don't know that's some stuff you gotta look into 
That sounds really odd. <laughs> like, I didn't know what the hell that did. I mean, but how do you get the threes and stuff? Because I definitely want to... I don't want to spend all my money here. I want to get some equipment packs if possible. Okay, so now I know for a fact my Vanguard's going to be 20. So let me go in and promote him. Alright. I was so for sure that I was going to be able to get more characters than this. This is lame. So I've gotten two new characters and a couple of the guns already almost maxed out. You know, the way this works too, guys, I know a lot of you guys are going to be jelly. Um, but, oh man, nothing. But, you know, the way the reason why I'm getting like this weapon so much is because I've got all the other gold weapons maxed out. And because all my silver ones are maxed out too, you know, it, it's just, that's just how it works, guys. Unfortunately, I know, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I can't get anything. This is lame. Krogan Battlemaster. I, just, I got the sniper rifle to 10 already. That's cool. Ah, oh, man, this is lame. Come on. Give me new character. Ah, oh, man. I feel like this has just been worthless in a lot of ways. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know. Is there even, is the is the assault rifle even possible to get? Do I, maybe they're uncommon characters. Maybe that's what's going on here. Who knows? All right, that was that was worthless. I don't know. That's that's weird. Like maybe the assault rifle is uncommon because why would it? You know, wow, this thing has some serious damage on it. That's crazy. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so soldier, I got the new Vortress soldier. Let's take a look at him. Hmm. Really don't want to name him anything. I just name him Jelly. I know some of you guys are going to be jelly out there. Um, okay, so here's Bloodlust. What does this thing do? The Vortia fires into a frenzy, increasing movement speed. So it's pretty much a hunter mode. Health regeneration and melee damage. E I knew it. Each kill pretty much makes him stack three times. Okay. Additional stacks, 15 seconds powers. Okay, so it's armor though. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Movement speed, health regeneration, melee damage. So he's probably going to be some type of melee character. Health regeneration. Is that per second or something? Oh, I guess every kill. Health. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't? Who would? I would just go for health regeneration with this, probably. Weapon damage, power damage. I mean, movement and melee. Health regeneration. Okay. Flamer. All right. So it's a, it's a damage per second. So it's it's just gonna be like an infernal nade, but you know with um. You know, which is like extreme damage, shield damage. I don't know. I don't know what what to say about this. I would, I I think I would. I don't know. I'll show you the build when I do it. What does he get that special? Anything? Anything normal? Pretty normal stuff. Looks like um. Let's see, shotguns and assault rifles. Fitness. I mean, like, okay. Now here's the main thing. Oh, so he has 750 health with 250 shields. So pretty much he's going to be the reverse of a Geth. High health with health regeneration with low, what it called. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, and the idea of him, I guess, is to be a melee character. But uh, meleeing guys is just never that great of an idea. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this Quarian Infiltrator. I mean, uh, more than likely I'm going to bring out a video with him. or Maybe the Vortra first, don't really know. Don't know why I was naming him that, whatever. There. <laughs> That's his name. L. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, main thing is tactical scan. Reveal enemy weakness, uh, weaknesses in their defense, increasing all damage. To okay, that's cool. So pretty much you just scan an enemy. You're going to do more damage to the enemy. You know what this is? This is, this is, uh, I don't know. I guess it's not that. It's some type of like assassination move maybe? I don't know. And it has a quick recharge, and its duration is long as heck. That's, I mean, it's, this is pretty cool. Okay, so you can penalize its movement speed. Damage done. Increase scan duration by 100%. This is pretty cool. 
Now, this is the one I want to see, arc grenades. I've been saying they should bring out these for a long time. EMP grenades. I, I knew, like, this is pretty much, what, what do they do? Stun, okay, I knew it's stun and damage, pretty much. Any type of, um, you know, shield or synthetics. So that's just really cool. I don't really think this would be worth it. Probably max grenades better. Armor piercing and shield overload. Don't know. I don't know. This might be like frags in a way. I guess I... I don't know. So he gets the same as the regular Corian shields and stuff. What about his Corian defender? Is that pretty much the same? Seems like it. I'm going to go ahead and... Alright, so the best thing to do with him would be to just probably leave him like with max... I don't know why I'm doing that. Let me not do that. That's stupid. I think the best thing to do with this guy is going to be just leave his fitness low like at 3. And then just go for max power. Just treat this like a regular Corian Infiltrator in a way. It's radius is huge, man. But I would rather go for damage over radius. Um, max grenade. And let's see here. F it. Shield overload. Let's just do that. Tactical scan. Let's get this up. Okay. Weapons damage. Power damage. Um... I would have to go for weapons damage, maybe. Headshot, movement speed. Uh, see, I would, don't go for headshot damage. Increase all headshot damage. See, because the headshot damage by default is 250%. So that, that I don't really see the, that that's not necessary. But the movement speed thing, that's pretty cool. Just to slow them. Increase all damage done. And increase scan duration. I don't know what that does. So I would just do all damage for now. And then obviously max out the cloak, which unfortunately that's going to have to wait a second, um, which sucks. Maybe that was not a good idea. He looks cool at least. Alrighty, so, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and probably go uh, get a gameplay with the Vorcha soldier, um, you know, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. It will be coming out very soon. Um, and yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. So I really hope you enjoy this. You know, like I said, I got pretty unlucky. Maybe the new other characters and other weapon is going to be a uncommon, like, veteran pack thing. That would be cool, too. But who knows? But, uh, you know, so thank you for watching, guys. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. And all that good stuff. Peace out.